In this video, I will talk about a topic which really most of our clients hate, and that's Ethernet configuration. Unfortunately, you have to know at least something about this topic, because uh, otherwise you won't be able to set up devices like LEC3, SPI Matrix, Reactivo 2 or any kind of ARNET device. But don't worry, I will try to be not too technical. First of all, we need to talk about what is the network, actually. I will give you the most simple example, and uh, that you have one Ethernet switch, which is a device which connects all the, all the devices together. So, via Ethernet cable, you connect, for example, your computer to the Ethernet switch, then you can connect the second computer, like laptop, to the Ethernet switch, but you are using also Ethernet cables to connect our devices, like LEC3 or Reactivo, to, the, to the, your network. And when these devices are connected to so-called Ethernet switch, they can communicate to each other. And the question is how? Well, they are communicating thanks to IP address. So every one of those devices has its own IP address. IP address is basically just four numbers. Typically, we use IP address 192.168.1.22. And this 22 we usually use for computers. Then, for example, the IP address uh, of the laptop can be point 23. And you can use uh, like point 64 or 65 for the devices like uh, LEC3 or Reactivo. If you notice, all these IP addresses are different and it's important to note they must be different. So never do this. Never use the same IP address for your computer and for your LEC3 device. This won't work. Your Ethernet network will fail. So please never do this. This is an example of, of the easiest setup you might have. I have the Ethernet cable connected to my laptop and the Ethernet cable is then connected to LEC3. And yes, this will work fine. You just need to set the different IP address of the computer and the LEC3. Now the question you might have is how do I change the IP address of my computer? And I will show you. It's a little bit different for every Windows systems you are using, but uh, I will show you how it uh, works on the Windows 11. And uh, it's pretty similar on the Windows 10 or 8. So this is my desktop. You go here at the bottom in the tray area. Uh, here you have the network, typically the Wi-Fi. You can right-click the Wi-Fi and it will give you option Network and Internet Settings. Click it. And here are many settings, but uh, the way I like to change the IP address is go here to Advanced Network Settings. And here at the bottom, here you have uh, more network adapter, adapter options. Now it will display all the network uh, adapters you have in your computer. Typically, if you are using laptop, you have, you, you have also Wi-Fi and the Ethernet is the one which is usually used uh, with the cable. To change the settings of this uh, cable Ethernet, you double click and uh, here you choose properties. And here in Internet Protocol version 4, you can set the IP address. So you can click Properties or just double click. And as you can see, the default uh, setting is to obtain the IP address automatically. We will explain later what it means. But if you want uh, to use uh, your laptop with our devices like LEC3 or Reactivo, we recommend to change it to use the following IP address. And as I told you, we must have the first three numbers the same and we typically use 22 for the computer. So I press OK and now my IP address is changed on my computer. Now the question is how to change the IP address of the LEC3 or SPI matrix. And uh, there is a little help. By default, when you obtain the device, it already has the IP address set. And the default IP address for LEC3 and SPI matrix is 192.168.1.1 for Salon. And this is the IP address which you can type in into your web browser. And that's what we do now. So to get to the settings of the device, as I told you, you have to use the web browser. So 
Here in the address bar, you type in the IP address of the device. So in my case, 192.168.1.147, as we thought is the default address of the new uh, LEC3. So we type it in, and as you can see, uh, I have the device setting in the web configuration. And if you want to change the IP address, you go here to main settings. And as you can see, here you can change the whole IP address. So for example, we can change it to our 64. Don't forget to save the settings using this button. And now the device IP address is changed. And as you can see, I'm already on the new IP address. It's quite easy. For reactive device, it's a little bit different, but uh, it's also easy. And there is a little trick which you can use with our devices. Uh, in the web configuration, in case you, are, you have already found some device on your, on your network, you can go to device list, which will give you a list of all the devices which are connected to your network or Ethernet switch. And in my case, if you can see, I have here the Reactivo device already connected on address point 65. And what's nice, I can just click this point 65 and it will automatically redirect me to the IP address, to the web configuration of the Reactivo device. And here to change the IP address, you just have to click this uh, setting button here, go to settings and at the bottom of the configuration, here you have an Ethernet mode and you can change the IP address settings here. The question we often get, how to set the IP address of if I have several devices? Well, we always recommend to connect one, change the IP address to the, I don't know, 64, for example, then connect to your network the second device and change its IP address from 147 to 65, for example. I mean, it takes some time, but it's easy to do so. Now the question you might have is, how do I actually find out that the device is connected to my network? And there is an easy answer, it's called ping. And I will show you how. So again, I'm uh, on my desktop. Now you have to go to start menu, type in CMD, which means command prompt. It will open the command prompt and you can use the ping command. So I will type in ping and now you type in the IP address of the device which you want to check, which, which is on the network. So 192.168.1.64 was my LEC3. And as you can see, I'm receiving the reply from 0.64 IP address. And uh, this time means in one millisecond I got the reply, which is very fast. What I can do, I can check the IP address of the Reactivo device, 65. Yes, it's on, on the network, I'm receiving the replay. But what you can do is to use this command with, uh, with an option, T. And this will automatically uh, all the time check the device if it's connected. And now as you can see, I'm receiving the replay from 0.65 device, but when I disconnect it, as you can see, I have the reply has stopped and I got request timed out. So this is the way how you can check if the device is connected to my network quickly. There is also a more friendly way how to find the devices on your network. And it's via Let's Trip Studio software. When you go to mapping sections, here you can use the search button and the search button for the ARPNET devices. So I have the software here and you can go to mapping section and you can use this magnifying glass icon to find all the devices connected, uh, all the LEC3 and Reactivo devices connected to your network. So we click it, it will find the devices on your network. And as you can see, I can see here 64 and 65, the IP address. Uh, LEC3 and also Reactivo, they are also ARTNET devices. And uh, in case you are using ARTNET devices, you will probably use the ARTNET mapping in Let's Trip Studio software. So you can use search for ARTNET device instead of this magnifying glass. So we can click it. And it should find also the Reactivo and LEC3 device. Yes, that's it. In case you are using uh, the device from someone else, produced by some other company, 
it should find these devices. Just a note here, uh, this will work only when the IP address of your computer is set correctly. Yeah, I mean, it, it's using the same IP address uh, range as the device uh, like LEC3 or Reactivo. So these are the basics of the Ethernet configuration. Once uh, you will use this knowledge, you should be able to set up your ad, uh, IP address of the devices and of your computers, and you should be able to set them correctly so you get to web configuration and you are able to find the devices in your software.